Otohot Key is a free open source macro utility that can be very handy for translators who use Microsoft Windows. You don't need to have programming skills in order to take advantage of it. In this video, I will show you how to download and install Otohot Key and how to use an existing script that you have found. So let's get started. The website of AutoHotKey is www.autohotkey.com. Click on Download and select the first installer in the download page. Once downloaded, double click the installer, press Next, I agree, and choose the version that matches your configuration. For most people, Unicode will be better though there are known issues with languages such as Arabic. I choose the 60-bit version, as I happen to run the 60-bit edition of Windows 7. AutoHotKey is now installed, and I have opened an empty folder when I'm going to store scripts. Let's create our first script. I right click in the folder, select New and AutoHotKey script. The script has the extension AHK for AutoHotKey. I rename it to MemoQ MT on off because the script I'm interested in enables or disables machine translation in MemoQ using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl F1. I can now open the new file in any text editor, for instance Notepad. I found the code for the script on the MemoQ mailing list. I can select the code, copy it to the clipboard, and paste it in Notepad. The first two lines were duplicated, so I delete them. I will use File, Save As, in order to change the encoding. I want to use the UTF-8 encoding, because I have the Unicode version of AutoHotKey. If I right-click the file I just created, I can either run the script or compile it. I select Compile and I get a file with the same name but an .exe extension. I now double-click the .exe in order to start the script. An icon with a white H on a green background is displayed in the system tray. I can use it if I want to stop the script. Let's switch to MemoQ and see how the script works. I'm in the second segment of my document and I can see Google Translate is enabled because I have a hit from it in the translation results pane. Before I go to the third segment, I want to disable Google Translate. I could do it manually, Tools, Options, Machine Translation, and I would have to untick Offer Machine Translated Results and press OK. I don't do this, and the script can do it for me. I just press Ctrl F1. When I move to the third segment, there's no result from Google Translate, so my script is working. Whenever I want to re-enable Google Translate, I can press Ctrl F1 again. Thank you for watching. Do hit that like button down below and feel free to subscribe.